hospital room. At Fort Scott, there's some canes, or not canes, but crutches. Fairly uncomfortable looking beds. That looks like they kept warm. We've got a nice fireplace here. There's the medicine cabinet. Shaving implements. Got one of those at the house. Okay, I'm sitting on the bench behind the visitor center, which in the old days was a hospital. I already took a video of the upstairs hospital area. Uh, building right there is a powder magazine, which they always kept toward the middle of the fort, probably for protection. Over that way is uh, one of the officers' quarters, and the headquarter building was right there. The building right there. Okay, some more officers' quarters over that way. Not sure what that little building is, but there's some. There, I'll walk over there and find out. There's another officer quarters there. Not sure what that one was. There's a bakery, a bakery over there somewhere. I'll find it. Bakery and a quartermaster's storehouse. The stables were over this way through there for a minute, so we're going to walk around here and see what everything was. Okay, we're obviously in some kind of a... Somebody slept here, I'm not sure who. Fairly uncomfortable looking bed. And then this is a... both a heating and cooking wood stove. Wood in there. Up on top, you can set some pots and pans and coffee pot. And I guess that's a storage cabinet. Place to hang your hat. Pretty much it. Alright, so if you're a soldier back in the old days and you messed up, you might wind up in here. This is a little guard, guard house. Here. I guess this is where they put the drunken disorderly the chains on them. See what you had to live with here. Okay, you got a stool and you just lay on a cold, dark floor, and there's your window. Would be very much fun. I guess the guys that uh, guarded the prisoners stayed out here, I guess. Okay, we just left the guard house there and come this way, and I'm pretty sure this path maybe goes down to the river through here. There's a supply of water. You always got to have a water supply nearby for the horses and men that lived here. So we're just going to walk around here a little bit. I may not go in every building, especially all these still going stairs. They don't have elevators. Something real important. I might go up. We'll see. Looks 
I actually got most of the stairs chained off, so that's okay. Anyway, it looks like it was built before the Civil War started, then abandoned, then reactivated again uh, during the Civil War, used as maybe a training base. So this must be the infantry. This is a reconstructed infantry barracks. Uh, I guess I can't go in there. Try this door, probably locked too. Yep. Well, maybe one of the other ones are open. I think that's a infantry barracks over there, too. Crack post of the frontier. Okay, Captain Thomas Soares, quartermaster from 42 to 46. That's 1842 to 46. He built um, Fort to Last. Uh, here's the quartermaster building over here. And noise here in the background, there's a busy highway right next door here. Highway 54 comes through here. Okay, so this is the quartermaster complex. So all these buildings were from the used by the quartermasters, a storehouse. Uh, Bakehouse, which is that building out there. Another building, probably for storage. Anyway, Quartermaster was also responsible for a multitude of functions needed to run a military post, including supplies, subsistence, construction, repair. So he was a civil engineer. And the chief cook, bottle washer. Ran the corrals, the stables, the storage yards, the bakery, the ice house, workshops, blacksmith, carpenter, pretty much everything you needed to keep the fort going. That was the quartermaster's job. And this is the storehouse over here. Oh goody, I'm gonna have some stairs to climb with no railing. May have to think about that. Looks like we can get in here. <clears throat> okay. Again, another stove. Keep the pot on, storeroom back there. I'm sure he kept journals of supplies coming in and out. Some boxes back there. See candles on them. Alright, so we got sugar, salt beef, salt pork, cornmeal, flour. Lots of flour, salt pork. Lots of that. Got some stuff upstairs, I'm not going up there. Stuff downstairs, I'm not going down there. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. But, you can store stuff in there. It's over here.
This looks like it shows some of the original construction techniques. There's that highway bake shop over there again. Oh, there's a picnic area down there. Stuff, same stuff That's where I came in. Alright, I'm going to put my camera down and take a few pictures with a snapshot camera.